Friedrich August Kekul, later Friedrich August Kekul von Stradenitz was a German organic chemist. From the 1850s until his death, Kekul was one of the most prominent chemists in Europe, especially in theoretical chemistry. He was the principal founder of the theory of chemical structure. Name Kekul never used his first given name, he was known throughout his life as August Kekul. After he was ennobled by the Kaiser in 1895, he adopted the name August Kekul von Stradenitz, without the French acute accent over the second E. The French accent had apparently been added to the name by Kekul's father during the Napoleonic occupation of Hesse by France, to ensure that French-speaking people pronounced the third syllable. Early Years The son of a civil servant, Kekul was born in Darmstadt, the capital of the Grand Duchy of Hesse. After graduating from secondary school, the Grand Ducal Gymnasium in Darmstadt, in the fall of 1847 he entered the University of Gießen, with the intention of studying architecture. After hearing the lectures of Justice von Liebig in his first semester, he decided to study chemistry. Following four years of study in Gießen and a brief compulsory military service, he took temporary assistant ships in Paris, 1851-52, in Che, Switzerland, 1852-53, and in London, 1853-55, where he was decisively influenced by Alexander Williamson. His Gießen doctoral degree was awarded in the summer of 1852. Theory of Chemical Structure In 1856 Kekul became Privat Dozent at the University of Heidelberg. In 1858 he was hired as full professor at the University of Ghent, then in 1867 he was called to Bonn, where he remained for the rest of his career. Basing his ideas on those of predecessors such as Williamson, Edward Frankland, William Odling, Auguste Laurent, Charles Adolphe Wurtz, and others, Kekul was the principal formulator of the theory of chemical structure, 1857-58. This theory proceeds from the idea of atomic valence, especially the tetravalence of carbon, which Kekul announced late in 1857, and the ability of carbon atoms to link to each other, announced in a paper published in May 1858, to the determination of the bonding order of all of the atoms in a molecule. Archibald Scott Coor independently arrived at the idea of self-linking of carbon atoms, his paper appeared in June 1858 and provided the first molecular formulas where lines symbolize bonds connecting the atoms. For organic chemists, the theory of structure provided dramatic new clarity of understanding, and a reliable guide to both analytic and especially synthetic work. As a consequence, the field of organic chemistry developed explosively from this point. Among those who were most active in pursuing early structural investigations were, in addition to Kekul and Kuhr, Frankland, Wurtz, Alexander Crum Brown, Emil Erlenmeyer, and Alexander Buttle Rav. Kekul's idea of assigning certain atoms to certain positions within the molecule, and schematically connecting them using what he called their Verwandtschaft Seinheiten, affinity units, now called valences or bonds, was based largely on evidence from chemical reactions, rather than on instrumental methods that could peer directly into the molecule, such as X ray crystallography. Such physical methods of structural determination had not yet been developed, so chemists of Kekul's day had to rely almost entirely on so-called wet chemistry. Some chemists, notably Hermann Kolbe, heavily criticized the use of structural formulas that were offered, as he thought, without proof. However, most chemists followed Kekul's lead in pursuing and developing what some have called classical structure theory, which was modified after the discovery of electrons, 1897, and the development of quantum mechanics, in the 1920s. The idea that the number of valences of a given element was invariant was a key component of Kekul's version of structural chemistry. This generalization suffered from many exceptions, and was subsequently replaced by the suggestion that valences were fixed at certain oxidation states. For example, Periodic acid according to Kekulian structure theory could be represented by the chain structure IOOOH. By contrast, the modern structure of, meta, periodic acid has all four oxygen atoms surrounding the iodine in a tetrahedral geometry. 
benzene. Kekulé's most famous work was on the structure of benzene. In 1865, Kekulé published a paper in French, for he was then still in Francophone Belgium, suggesting that the structure contained a six-membered ring of carbon atoms with alternating single and double bonds. The next year, he published a much longer paper in German on the same subject. The empirical formula for benzene had been long known, but its highly unsaturated structure was a challenge to determine. Archibald Scott Coeur in 1858 and Joseph Loschmidt in 1861 suggested possible structures that contained multiple double bonds or multiple rings, but the study of aromatic compounds was in its earliest years, and too little evidence was then available to help chemists decide on any particular structure. More evidence was available by 1865, especially regarding the relationships of aromatic isomers. Kekul argued for his proposed structure by considering the number of isomers observed for derivatives of benzene. For every monoderivative of benzene only one isomer was ever found, implying that all six carbons are equivalent, so that substitution on any carbon gives only a single possible product. For diderivatives such as the toluidines, three isomers were observed, for which Kekul proposed structures with the two substituted carbon atoms separated by one, two, and three carbon-carbon bonds, later named ortho, meta, and para isomers respectively. The counting of possible isomers for diderivatives was however criticized by Albert Leidenberg, a former student of Kekul, who argued that Kekul's 1865 structure implied two distinct ortho structures, depending on whether the substituted carbons are separated by a single or a double bond. Since orthoderivatives of benzene were never actually found in more than one isomeric form, Kekul modified his proposal in 1872 and suggested that the benzene molecule oscillates between two equivalent structures, in such a way that the single and double bonds continually interchange positions. This implies that all six carbon-carbon bonds are equivalent, as each is single half the time and double half the time. A firmer theoretical basis for a similar idea was later proposed in 1928 by Linus Pauling, who replaced Kekulé's oscillation by the concept of resonance between quantum mechanical structures. Kekulé's Dream The new understanding of benzene, and hence of all aromatic compounds, proved to be so important for both pure and applied chemistry after 1865 that in 1890 the German Chemical Society organized an elaborate appreciation in Kekulé's honor, celebrating the 25th anniversary of his first benzene paper. Here Kekulé spoke of the creation of the theory. He said that he had discovered the ring shape of the benzene molecule after having a reverie or daydream of a snake seizing its own tail. This is an ancient symbol known as the Ouroboros. This vision, he said, came to him after years of studying the nature of carbon-carbon bonds. A similar humorous depiction of benzene had appeared in 1886 in the Bericht der Durst Igen Chemies Chen Gesellschaft, Journal of the Thirsty Chemical Society, a parody of the Bericht der Duchen Chemies Chen Gesellschaft, only the parody had monkeys seizing each other in a circle rather than snakes as in Kekulé's anecdote. Some historians have suggested that the parody was a lampoon of the snake anecdote, possibly already well known through oral transmission even if it had not yet appeared in print. Others have speculated that Kekulé's story in 1890 was a re-parody of the monkey spoof, and was a mere invention rather than a recollection of an event in his life. Kekulé's 1890 speech, in which these anecdotes appeared, has been translated into English. If one takes the anecdote as the memory of a real event, circumstances mentioned in the story suggest that it must have happened early in 1862. He told yet another anecdote in 1890, of a vision of dancing atoms and molecules that led to his theory of structure. This happened, he claimed, while he was riding on the upper deck of a horse-drawn omnibus in London. This probably occurred in the late summer of 1855. Honours 1979 East German Stamp of Kekul, in honour of the sesquicentennial of his birth. In 1895 Kekul was ennobled by Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany, giving him the right to add von Stradenitz to his name, 
referring to a possession of his patrilineal ancestors in Strato Nice, Bohemia. This title was used by his son, genealogist Stefan Kakil von Stratonitz. Of the first five Nobel Prizes in Chemistry, Kakil's students won three, Van T. Hoff in 1901, Fischer in 1902 and Bayer in 1905. A larger-than-life-size monument of Kakil is situated in front of the former Chemical Institute at the University of Bonn. His monument is often decorated by students, e.g. for Valentine's Day.